Hey everybody, Jason here for another Launchbox Developer Sessions video. Another great week has gone by. Hard to believe it. Uh, time's flying. Um, we're about ready to put out the 6.4 release. Um, that'll be just a couple days. I'm just wrapping up some bugs. Uh, put out a lot of, quite a few new features, more than I would have expected in the past week. We've got, uh, we added an option to Big Box to skip the game details screen, uh, which means that if you'd rather just play a game directly from the games lists um, by default, you can use the same buttons and just go straight into the game. And then we've added another button on top of that, which will let you get into the game details um, instead. So that's a that's been a, a long requested feature. I'm I'm glad to have that myself as well. Another thing we did was we updated Scum VM um, to 1.8.1. I think is the latest version of it. Uh, and we also made it so that if you want to customize your version of Scum VM, you can now uh, just by putting it in the Launchbox folder, and Launchbox will no longer overwrite that. Uh, it will only overwrite it when there's a new version released um, that we want to uh, put out there. So that should be a big help for people who want to customize their Scum VM version. And uh, yesterday in the live development stream, we did that yesterday, the Scum VM stuff as well, but yesterday in the live development stream, um, we voted on on the features that we want to implement uh, the most and uh, well uh, amongst my my little list of what we what we uh, could do that day uh, for the 6.4 release and the one that was on top actually had the most votes was to restructure the big box options to make them a little bit more user friendly and so we did do that yesterday um, and move things around to the best we could to make it a little bit more obvious uh, where everything is for example we put all the video uh, settings together, all the image settings together, all the transition settings together, so that things aren't scattered all over the all over the place in the app, uh, which I think it should be a big help as far as uh, being able to discover all all those options. And then uh, we did work on the Launchbox Games database uh, quite a bit in the last well, some in the last uh, week as well. One thing we did was um, add the ability to delete games. That's what we did late last week. And then um, after that, uh, just recently, I think it was yesterday, I, I added the ability to change the platforms uh, finally for the games. So that is in there as well, although I do need to deploy that piece uh, yet. Uh, but that's about it for progress in the last week. We're, we're still wrapping things up. I did, uh, I fixed a bunch of glitches uh, across the board as well as wrapped up the uh, issues with the German translation. So. That's uh, that's good to get done as well, um, and so the German translation will be out in the 6.4 release. Uh, still have some bugs to fix and stuff, uh, spe specifically with the German translation and 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 in some other areas as well. Uh, mostly with VLC and Big Box, we still have some bugs there, uh, but I'll be working on those and getting those fixed, and then hopefully pushing out um, the 6.4 release before the end of the week. So that is the goal there. And then going forward, we can jump on stuff like LED Blinky, which I'm excited to work on, uh, and so many other other things. Uh, I don't have the list in front of me, and I haven't uh, made that many decisions as far as what we're going to do next. Uh, I'll probably jump on the uh, Bitbucket list and take a look at the top tickets. So that is where we're at as far as Launchbox development. Uh, I'm of course my the thing I'm most excited about right now is the Bar Top Arcade. Uh, Neil um, has been doing such an amazing job with the artwork on that Bar Top Arcade. Uh, it's completed um, except for the, uh, the the bezel to go around the screen, which is no big deal. Uh, I sent that artwork over to Keith at uh, Monster Arcades, uh, and so I'm thinking something like three weeks. We should have ourselves uh, an arcade, so I'm super, super excited about that. And uh, I'm going to be working on LED Blinky, and then the other feature that uh, I'm going to need for Retro Palooza in October, uh, I'm definitely going to want to have some sort of a um, uh, an attract mode uh, for the convention. So that is a highly requested feature as well. So that's convenient. Uh, we can we can knock that out as well before October. So uh, some cool stuff coming up there. Uh, very excited about that. It's gonna be a fairly short video, but uh, I will. Uh, I've got uh, Star Wars Rebel Assault, but we'll take a look at. 
And I think this is from 1993. If I look it up. 1993, yep. This is a great game. I, I loved this game when I was a kid. It was much enjoyed. And then there's the back. And this is the... I think this game only came on CD-ROM, if I remember correctly. And in the box we have... Uh, here's the... It comes in a cardboard case, which is a little bit different. Not what I'm used to. The CD. There you go. And then we have the manual, which is eh, relatively small, but uh, <clears throat> I'm sure it serves its pur purpose. Cast of characters, getting started, special cases, etc. And we have a reference card, which looks to be mostly uh, just MS DOS commands. Because back in the day, it was difficult. <laughs> to get these games running under DOS in some cases. Uh, and I've, I've been getting back into that a little bit recently. Uh, and I had to, <laughs> to take a break from it because I forgot how much of a pain in the rear it is to get old DOS games running in actual DOS. DOSBox has spoiled us tremendously because all the, the old DOS, autoexit.bat and config.sys configuration and all that stuff is just automatically handled in DOSBox these days, which is incredible. Um, the DOSBox guys, oh man. Um, they're amazing. It's it, they built such an amazing product. It's just ridiculous. All right, and then we have a an advertisement for Prodigy Internet. Believe it or not, uh, and I actually had Prodigy Internet when I was a kid, or my dad did actually really early on. And uh, I remember playing stupid little games over Prodigy, which is kind of crazy, because uh, uh, and it's it's neat to see the Prodigy advertisement in here. Believe it or not. And then finally we have, uh, this looks like mostly, it's interesting, it looks like a catalog mostly for, uh, for games, but uh, for LucasArts games. But it's interesting, they've, they've turned it into kind of a magazine, magazine kind of thing, and they've really tried to make it uh, an interesting read. So that's kind of cool. There's all kinds of Star Wars stuff in here, and stuff about video games, even like, uh, looks like a, a comic about video games is in here, which is neat. So... Sam and Max hit the road. So that's kind of a neat little thing. And that is Star Wars Rebel Assault. And that's it for this week, guys. Take it easy, and I will see you on Monday. We are back at the normal uh, 9.30 a.m. PST time for the live development streams. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Take it easy.